It depends on how proficient the both of you are in ice skating. I mean, if you guys are pretty proficient in it, um, then it might be something you honestly want to do after. You know, so for example, maybe you guys meet up and have a little meet and greet and just um, talk it out, maybe at a cafe or something. And then from there, you can go ice skating. You know, you don't want to make that be the basically the date itself, you know, because you need to have an opportunity to talk and, 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 and feel any kind of chemistry. Because, you know, if you just go straight into ice skating, then, you know, you never really had a chance to see the both of you have chemistry, you know. And if the ice skating goes bad, if someone if someone keeps falling or someone feels embarrassed maybe you feel embarrassed because you keep falling or you, you feel like you're not proficient enough in it now all you're worrying about all of a sudden is how you can look good ice skating in front of this girl instead of actually getting to know her see that's the danger of, of going straight for the ice skating so first and foremost meet at a venue where you can really talk get to know each other and then from there if things turn out good have good chemistry then you can go on to ice skating